हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फ्री प्रोजेक्ट डॉट कॉम एंड दिस इज माई न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एच आर एम एस सिस्टम मीन्स ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड आई हैव डेवलप दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन जावा जे एस पी एंड माई सिक्वेल एंड फॉर डेटा बेस आई हैव यूज द माई सिक्वेल डेटा बेस एंड द वर्जन ऑफ माई सिक्वेल डेटा बेस इज फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स एंड आई एम यूजिंग द जेड के वन पॉइंट एट एंड फॉर टॉम कैट आई एम यूजिंग द टॉम कैट सेवन एज वेल एज दिस प्रोजेक्ट विल वर्क ऑन टॉम कैट एट वर्जन ऑल्सो also this project is uh, can be easily configured on your eclipse environment as well as your netbeans so you can configure this project on netbeans and eclipse also and if you don't have netbeans and eclipse then you can easily run this project on tomcat ser- server for uh, placing the code only on the um, web apps folder after that it, this project will work uh, will start working okay so for front end part i have used html css and javascript and this is a very little bit functionality with uh, developed with the bootstrap theme and i have <coughs> used uh, many of the jquery library uh, such as for slider i have used this jquery library for and uh, i have used the jquery validator for validating the forms and also for the dro- some of the drop down menus so let us start with the functionality so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a really a very good look <coughs> and this is a slider you can change the images and text from the jsp uh, page directly and then there is a about us page this is a little bit about the project and there are two types of login employee login and administrator login and this is the contact us page so this is a totally static contact us page you uh, will not be able to save this page into the database just uh, once uh, customer enter the uh, enter his information and Uh, click on the submit then a confirmation will uh, message will be displayed uh, data will not be stored in the database okay <clears throat> so uh, let's start with the administrator login so this is the admin so i am entering the wrong user and password so this is showing okay invalid username and password and if i uh, enter the correct user and password then uh, admin will be able to see his or her dash- dashboard so you can see this is the admin dashboard and these are the menus uh, from where uh, admin will be able to jump on that page and this is the report section this is the add new section and this is the report section and this is the my account change password and contact us and again the logout so you can see the above menu is totally dynamic so it's coming according to the rule so currently these menus are available for admin only means these menus are coming according to the admin role and permission and if uh, at employee log into the system then this menu will be changed and if uh, no one has logged into the system then this menu will be changed okay let's see so i am log logging out from here so you can see the above menu has been changed and if i log in with the employee and you can see this menu has been changed so this is totally role based menu so this menu will automatically be changed according to the user role and permission and according to their user id and password so i am login with uh, admin okay so this is the dashboard of the admin and after that there is add employee so from where admin will be able to add any number of employees from this form and then add salary and we will be able to add the salary of the employee so these all uh, drop downs are dynamic you can change according to your need and uh, also this employee code is coming from the database means the data of this drop down is totally dynamic and if you add more employees then that employee code will be displayed here and this had employee skills so what are the skills of the employee what type of languages what type of database employee knows then you will be able to add it from here and then add project and <clears throat> this is the project form so you will be able to add any number of projects and then add appraisal so you will be able to add the appraisal from here the employee appraisal again you will be able to select the employee code here and next one is the add uh, project so this is the add projects and then add project assignment so you will be able to assign that project to any number of employees so suppose if there is a project xyz and uh, uh, there are five employees are working on it then you will be able to assign the five employees from this form okay and this uh, add time sheet so this is the time sheet from where uh, admin will be able to fill the time sheet of the employee 
and then the add leaves so same this is the leave section from where uh, admin will be able to add the leaves of the employee and again this is the leave status that what is approved or disapproved again the in report section there is a uh, all the reports which is available in the project will be displayed here and this is the edit uh, once you click on edit then ad employee will be able to edit the details and then salary report so again uh, send skills report so this is the skills uh, and after that uh, project report so all the project will be listed here and then appraisal report so how many uh, points the employee has got uh, for communication team programming or write up so this is the section for that and the project reports again uh, next one is the project uh, report and then project assignment report so this is the project assignment report so this project has been assigned to the Kaushal Kishore and the Mita Gawa and you will be able to assign the same project to n number of employees and then time sheet report so this is the time sheet filled by the employee and the leave report so these all are the report uh, which is uh, available for the admin only and then this is the my account section from where uh, admin will be able to update his account details and then change password and then again contact us and the logout so once this admin login log out from the system then all the session of the admin will be destroyed and none of the internal page will be accessed by anyone okay so let's start with the employee login okay this is the employee login so employee will be able to see his salary details and my account sections and then change password so this is the basic functionality of the employee which uh, he can perform after his login and then contact us and the logout okay so this is the project which i have developed and uh, I know there are a lot of functionality which is missing in the project but uh, sure I will uh, implement those things in future and if you need any uh, more functionalities and if you want to give any more suggestions then put it into the comment I will implement those changes into my project. Okay uh, thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel freeprojects.com for getting the daily updates on latest projects video and technologies. Thank you. Thank you very much.